What I want to talk, chat about here is the relative spend, depending on product, between marketing and sales. We'll call this sales engagement. Technical founders and companies in general often don't have a clear understanding of how much do I spend on marketing versus how much do I spend on sales. And in thinking about the go-to-market model, how does that reflect kind of the shape of the organization? Mark Leslie came up with this concept. On the uh, y-axis here is importance, and on the x-axis here, we'll call this consumer. We'll have a middle ground here called SMB, small to mid-sized business, and this is enterprise. So think about this as an individual consumer. These are small businesses, and this, these are enterprise-oriented accounts. Selling to a consumer business, the tube of toothpaste is a great example. It's a single product. It's very inexpensive, there are many customers, and it's low touch. I don't need to educate somebody on how to use a tube of toothpaste. And as we move out here, the shape changes. Pretty much everything that's small here becomes big here. This is business to business. It may be multi-product, lots of dollars, fewer customers. We often think about enterprise as the Fortune 1000 or Fortune 50 or Fortune 100. Those are a few customers. You can actually create a list on a spreadsheet. We're here to have the world's consumers of individuals. You probably can't do that. So this is a sales line and this is a marketing line here. And this is how much money and the importance of marketing versus sales. If I have a consumer-oriented product, the investment in marketing will likely be much greater in sales. There's no need to have a direct salesperson standing on the drugstore aisle selling each user a tube of toothpaste. So what a company does in this case in consumer is they spend a lot of money on marketing and very little money, if not zero money, on sales. Now how does this apply to, let's say, technology? Well, if I have a consumer-oriented product or even a freemium product, I'm going to want to spend a little bit of money on sales, if no money on sales, let's call this zero. The marketing cost is actually the features that I give away for free becomes that marketing expense. I may have to do other marketing as well in the form of get-togethers with user groups or search advertising, whatever. I'm going to spend more there. As the product gets more complicated and as a product goes more enterprise, typically companies spend less in marketing and more in sales. If I'm selling a jet engine, for example, I don't need to market it in a very conventional way because the buyers are very few and they understand they need a jet engine. So I'll send a salesperson in to explain that. So part of the thinking here is to make sure that as an entrepreneur, you have the right blend between sales expense and the importance of sales versus the importance of marketing depending on the target market that you're in. In an SMB world, maybe I'm 50-50, where I spend a, an appropriate blend of each. I may start here with a freemium product, and that kind of gets my base of users going, and then I may jump up to here in the enterprise world or the SMB world to grow up, and at that point, I would start to add my sales organization on top of this free model and maybe reduce my overall marketing spend as a function of moving into some of these other markets. When you're starting out, pick where you are here and come up with a model that reflects the nature of your product and the nature of your customer base. Choose one, not many.